As we celebrate the 60th year since the Mackinac Bridge opened tonight, we're getting a look at never before seen photos of the early days of construction on the Mighty Mac. A Grand Rapids man snapped the photos all those years ago and all new at seven, his family sat down with Alicia Alonzo to show her the bridge in a whole new way. He was 12 years old when he got his first camera. It was a love and passion that Henry Zeman would pursue for his whole life. His wife, Bernice, says Henry was a patient man. He could wait for a long time before he got the sick shot that he wanted. As a former Grand Rapids Press and freelance photographer, Henry took hundreds of photos during the Mackinac Bridge construction in the late 50s. This is his personal collection. This would have been color transparencies, most of what was shot you know, back in the day was black and white. Henry's son, Paul, says after his father passed away, he wanted to update the film that Henry left behind. The film is in color, a rare find for photos from the 1950s, and are what make Henry's bridge photos unique. My daughter had recently graduated from CMU in kind of an integrated public relations and multimedia and journalism degree and was very good with that type of thing. The Zemans were hoping to release the restored photos on the anniversary of the bridge's opening. Instead, Paul's daughter Jackie created a video of the restored photos and posted them online this morning. I'm a little flabbergasted that we're sitting here today because we kind of missed the November time frame. We said, hey, you know, Grandpa Hank had passed away. My father passed away two years ago today. Today would be a great day to release it. You want him to have recognition. You know, it's, it's certainly not about us. It's, it's, it's about my father's work. You know, he, you know, this was his life passion. And this is something that means a lot to the people of Michigan. In Grand Rapids, Alicia Alonzo, 24-Hour News 8.